Okay, let's actually solve that last problem we were talking about. So the question we're gonna ask is what is the pH of a 0 0.157 molar solution of ammonium hypochlorite? And to do this, we're going to need the Kb value for hypochlorite, which is one over the Ka for hypochlorous acid. And we should get 3.4 times 10 to the minus seven. So this is not on our sheet, but we can find it. And that's for COO minus. Then we're gonna be comparing it to the Ka value for ammonium. And that's gonna be 5.6 times 10 to the minus 10. We can see that the Kb value for uh, hypochlorite is um, so three orders of magnitude. If you actually multiply it out, it's actually 607 times greater, meaning that it is 607 times uh, better at making uh, hydroxide ions than the Ka, uh, the acid is at, um, oh, and that should be a plus, uh, at making uh, hydronium ions. That is enough for us to go ahead and make a Kb table, ice table. And all these ice tables look similar. We're going to move a proton that way. We're going to get hydroxide and hypochlorous acid. This is a molarity ice table. And we've got 0 0.157 molarity as our starting point. Liquid we don't care about. Hydroxide is approximately zero and hypochlorous acid is equal to zero. Subtract. And from this point, these ice tables are something that we do fairly commonly, especially in this unit um, and the next unit that we're going to be doing, they all start to look the same. The hardest part is figuring out which one to do it for in a case like this. We know that our Kb value for this is 3.4 times 10 to the minus 7. And that's going to be equal to x squared over 0 0.157 minus x. X is small enough that we, or sorry, KC is small enough that we can ignore X. And we are left with, so 3.4 times 10 to the minus seven. Times 0.157. And then square root that. And I get that X equals 2.3 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that is our concentration of hydronium. It is also our concentration of hypochlorous acid. And our, oh no, that's our concentration of uh, hydroxide. Let's try this again. And that means that our pOH is going to be uh, the log of that, 3.64. And our pH, which is 14 minus pOH, is 10.36. So fairly basic for this problem. And uh, then the next most uh, the next highest value would be the Ka for ammonium. Um, and uh, the short answer is that it creates uh, no hydronium, no significant hydroniums, and that that's not going to affect. So this is the ineffective solution. And I'm just going to stop us there. Uh, the math gets increasingly crazy at this point. So that's a good answer.